Hello Planner friends, in this video I am going to do my exam prep plan for July. So this is my university planner, I'm going to use this starting in July. And this is a homeschool planner, so it is actually not starting until August. But I put in this um, Girl with Goals um, hourly extension pack because July is exam season for me. So, and actually like August and September are <laughs> months where I don't have uni at all. So <laughs> maybe I'm going to put those um, months in the back so I could use those maybe next year. But even next year it's gonna be <laughs> three months, but whatever. Um, so I'm going to um, do this and I'm going to do my exam prep plan on my monthly page. Now you may be noticing that this planner does not fit into the frame. I am sorry for that. I'm going to be really um, trying to show you everything you need to see. Um, it's just my tripod is super short so I can't put it very far away from my desk. And so it is really hard to fit in this big planner. I'm sorry, I hope it, it's fine. Okay, so first things first, I already put in some stuff in pencil. I have something I have to hand in on the 5th. I have something to hand in on the 15th. And then I have an exam on the 12th and uh, two other exams on the 26th. So that's what I need a plan for, because that's a lot to do. So, I'm going to use these sticky notes um, because, well, maybe I'm going to use these only for pre-planning. Usually I use these, um, like, permanently. I just put them down and put down what I have to do on that day. And then I throw them out and that's it. But maybe it is even better for me if I just pre-plan uh, what to do on which day so I get everything done till the exam and after I pre-planned it and know what to do I could maybe put it in pen on the page so I have to do it <laughs> okay first things first um, I really wish that I would have the Girl with Gold sticker book to go with this pack because it has a lot of purple and it's not that easy to find purple stickers um, from the Happy Planner um, but we will see. I think I'm going to put these things in boxes first because these are like set. These are going to happen if I want it or not. <laughs> so maybe let's see if I can find some stickers that would maybe go with this. Oh, I'm sorry, that was my head. Uh, maybe Dream Seeker. Or the Stargazer. These should have purple stickers. I just want boxes. I really don't need anything fancy. Just want some boxes. Well, this one is almost empty already, so I kind of don't think. Well, we have today and today. Those are. This is blue. Um, but I would like some boxes, to be honest with you. There are more circles, but I don't really like circle stickers and probably that's why they are still in this book. Okay, we have that one. That's one sticker. Um, those are too small. You have to think about like using a big planner. Um, like very small stickers are going to look very small. <laughs> so this might have some boxes for me. Maybe not, maybe not, this one definitely has purple in it, but, um, this can't be this hard. I am already failing at this, okay, um, let me see, maybe the handwritten colored boxes is going to be the solution to this problem. Yeah, this one has purple for sure. Okay, let me get to the purple. There it is, we have purple. 
yes perfect this is blue okay these are going to be fine um i am going to use these uh label thingies from the um storage boxes to cancel out some of these because obviously i'm not going to put down breakfast lunch dinner on this page it is going to be exams bit more um unpleasant than breakfast lunch dinner i feel like but i might be wrong maybe you like exams more than food and i mean that would be totally fine as well <laughs> Now, I would have to tell you my system, I guess, on how I do this pre-planning stuff. So I'm gonna pull out some of these. I really want to use the purple one for obvious reasons, but I already used it so much, it might not be enough. We will see. And... Um, um, this pink is also almost gone. don't really like um, very bright colors so I'm trying to pick some muted ones okay I don't even need four what am I doing um, well I should probably use four or even five <sighs> okay so this is going to be it okay so how it's going to work for me is I am going to pick well I have I have three exams coming and two stuff, two things I have to hand in. Um, so that's five colors. I'm gonna decide for each color what is what it's going to represent on the spread. And then I'm going to think about what I have to do for that exam and space it out so it's evenly spaced. If that makes sense to you. Uh, it makes sense to me at least. Okay, let me put... This is going to be, um, these are all not very many to be honest, but this is probably a, the most, so something over here maybe, let's say this is going to be this subject. You don't have to understand the name, it is in German, just going to put it in the sidebar. Okay, that's going to curl obviously, but it's fine. So, next thing, um, this is going to be... Colors are not decided. I guess the easy thing to do or decide on is the two things that I have to hand in. Because those things are, I am not planning them in a way that I break them down into miniature pieces. I just want a couple of days for those designated so I know I am going to get it done on those days um, this one is due on this day but I have an exam on the 12th so I'm going to be learning for this exam over here these two days are probably not going to be enough but these two days could be um, days where I polish it you know making sure making sure it's good so just finishing up so I'm gonna allocate the last two days before the deadline to to that task or to that thing um okay whoopsies doesn't wanna this one doesn't wanna stick the other ones are fine okay but I'm gonna need more so if I take into account that I have this deadline here but I am really 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 hoping praying 
that I'm not going to need this time, hopefully, for this thing. I am just going to maybe do these two days for that one. That's not the color. Um, it's a pink. Okay, so now we know on these two days I am still free to work on that thing if it's still not finished, which I hope it is. But if it's not, there is still two days to finish it. Well, obviously not two days because on th those two days I have lectures the whole day and stuff. But you know what I mean, <laughs> like that's going to be what I'm going to work on. Okay, I hate it. Can you stop curling, please? Do you have any kind of tip to prevent this? Because other than me, like fighting with it and doing it in all kinds of directions like this every time, maybe I'm just pulling them off wrong. Okay, so I guess that's done. So now I can use this time to do this thing. So that's going to be um, I'm going to do Friday, Saturday, Sunday because on these days I am working and I'm probably not going to be like able to do anything for uni at all or that much so that is going to be three days and then two, two more and that's five days and on the weekend i can work on it the whole day so i think that is covered pretty much and i am also hoping maybe i can even get started on this thing even before the 28th of june so that's good all right, now that was the easy part. Now to the hard part. I have this exam. This is going to be the time where I study for that. What do I have to do to study for that exam is the question. I have to answer <laughs> for myself. Because stuff like exams, um, I just said like I'm not breaking these down into itty bitty pieces on what I have to do. But for the exams, I do break it down into re really small things I have to do for the exam. So what am I going to have to do? I would have to finish watching all lectures. Finish lectures. And that's going to take me probably a couple of days. Um, yeah, that's good. I'm going to skip those two. Well, then maybe I would have to skip this as well and put this over here. Okay, because I am finished with this here already by the latest. So it's going to be a day where I could do something. <clears throat> I somehow have a frog in my throat. I don't know. I've been talking too much today. Um, so finish lectures again. And this is going to go on Friday. So by now I would definitely be able to finish lectures, I am pretty sure. On Saturday and Sunday I can do practice problems. All right. Practice problem. Oopsies. I just ripped that off the page. <laughs> Practice problems. And then I have the exam. It is a pretty easy exam, so I feel like this is going to be enough for that. But we will see. I really do hope. Okay, now this is really not it is not going to stick. Let me put another one. 
Okay, better. So, this exam. That is not a lot of time for this exam. That is, that is not enough at all. Okay, so... See, this is where the problems start. Uh, this is not where the exam is. <laughs> Whew, this is something else. Oh my god. This is the deadline for um, registering for the exam. This is where the exam is. So we have this week and this week. Okay, that's better. That's a lot better. Okay, so... These two exams are on the same day. So I have to study for them simultaneously. <laughs> that's going to be a pain in the but but it's okay i'm going to start over here this is going to be the first bigger stretch of study and then these days for sure let me get my other um other planner because i have to see let's see when does Oh, okay, okay, okay. So this is this is the last day of the semester. Ooh, okay. I'm gonna put a sticker for that. That is important information because um, let's just put one of these. Okay, now a piece of label paper. <laughs> Have to cut it again because it is too tall for that skinny box. Okay, that's perfect. So now I'm going to add, this is not the pen I've been using, last day of semester. So this is important information because that means that on these days I don't have lectures anymore. So I could even use these full days to study. So this is going to be the perfect five-day stretch of studying for these exams. And then I'm going to have two work days and then I'm going to have three more days. So that's eight days in total to study for those two lectures. So first things first, the this one, um, this is going to be... Um, I'm going to go backwards from the date. So on this day, you're probably not going to understand what I'm writing, but this is a, it's calculus. So I'm going to have to solve some old exams. And I would like to do that on these two days. And also something else, we are allowed one piece of paper, like a cheat sheet, that we have to write by hand, that I have to do on the last day before the exam. Okay, that's good. Now, um, Finish all lectures on this day and then finish all um, we have um, practice problems 
throughout the semester and I would like to have been finishing all of, all of those. So that's what I'm writing down now. Okay, that's good. So I still have a lot of days left. Um, okay, I am thinking maybe these are going to be for this subject only. And then we are going to take these two days and maybe this one for the other one. I think one subject per day is maybe better than doing two parallel, you know? So uh, let me take this one. Finish all lectures, finish all lectures. This is going to be this day. That is not straight at all. Finish all lectures. Okay, perfect. Um, and then I'm going to do some practice problems. You know what? I have been doing it all wrong. Well, no, I haven't been. Okay, I have been doing it right. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> so this and this and this. Oopsies. I feel like this is not enough time for this exam. This is a lot, but it is also more important, this subject, than this is. Still, I think I need more time. So maybe... I could put something over here as well. Um, Good. Now, okay. I would I would like to reduce the time for this subject because I really this is really an easy one, and it takes up. <laughs> Um, so much time, maybe even, maybe even this one. Okay, perfect. So now I have a couple more days for that. So let me move this over here and move this over here and then move this over here. Oh, I wrote down the opposite way. That's fine. Okay, perfect. Now, oopsies. Now I would like to move this to here. And move this over here and this over here. Then this over here. This over here. And this over here. And then I still have this day for even more. Okay. 
and I'm going to add another one of this over here for you know whatever that is going to be a mixed day <sighs> okay if that doesn't look stressful to you I don't know okay so Now the question is, do I put this in pen on the page? And I am thinking I am not going to do that. And the reason for that is if, if I keep to this plan, fine. I am just going to, after I remove the sticky note, just put the thing I did on the box, like in the box in pen. That's fine. No problem. If I, for example, don't need these days at all, for this thing because I have finished this already then I put down something on this day that I don't even have to do and then I could move stop stuff from here to there so I'm just going to leave it in sticky note I think and hope that it doesn't fall off <laughs> and so I can move this just I don't know why this doesn't want to stick so and um, just gonna move it around if need be and that is for me i think less stressful than crossing out stuff all the time so this is it i know it is intense <laughs> but university is intense so i hope you like this video if you did leave me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i also have an instagram account if you want to follow me over there i only post happy planner stuff so if you're interested i'm going to leave it in the description box and other than that, I hope you have an awesome day and that we see each other very soon. Until then, bye!